guys for joining here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today and this one's for the confessions of paper edit cut file shop and yeah so I've got one of the very very new um, newly released cut files it's called sunny days it's this gorgeous little sun with a little smiley face you totally don't have to put the face on by the way I just thought it was cute and she's got some gorgeous little um, flowing kind of tendrils coming off with some stars on you know <laughs> it's just pretty <laughs> um, so yeah I wanted to go bright with my colors and I was sifting through the collections I've got and came across the dealers a new day collection um, I was absolutely obsessed with this not so long ago and I still am and I thought why have I not used this again lately so I pulled it out and decided to use that so I'm just going to start by backing my sun um, I've just used the inside portion of that circular piece as a guide I've trimmed out a little bit larger and I'm going to I've glued it to my cut file and I'm going to go ahead and use that inside piece as a guide to kind of pop those little eyelashes and the little um, face in place. I don't make you watch me back the rest of the cut file. It's a pretty simple process, but there we go. I just used patterns from the 6x6 uh, six paper pad. I apologise for the barking. It's my parent's dog. He's a Pomeranian. And yeah. <laughs> and now my dog starts. Okay, <laughs> I've stopped now. Right, I'm just going to quickly back the cut file with some foam. Uh, for the little uh, flowing tendril bits of it, I use um, adhesive foam squares. I just cut them down super thin and just kind of stagger them around the edge just to make it easier to adhere them down. And there we go. I've chosen this really light blue pattern paper from the New Day collection. Um, I really loved it. It was like perfect for a sky, but it does lead me into a little bit of trouble later when I feel like my background is just too light. Um, it needs some more colour on it. Um, so we'll get to that a little later on. I'm just going to quickly back my photo with some patterns from the 6x6 paper pad, just some bright colours, um, just to kind of combine it uh, with the sun. I tie it all together. So I'm just doing three layers. And the photos of Eddie and our dog Charlie, they were playing out in the sprinkler one day. Perfect photo for the sun. Radio. I like the idea of it nestling kind of connected with that sun. Um, and that spot just there, it's like, it's connected because those little tendrils of the sun are kind of um, enveloping the photo, I guess. Um, so that was a perfect spot for me. I could have popped it way down that bottom um, right hand corner or up to the right but then I felt like it would be kind of too far to the edge of the layer and was going to take focus away from the photo I guess so having it kind of a, a bit more central like that I like that I could have of course popped it on top of the sun but I didn't want to take away from the sun either so that was my reasoning um, I'm going to go through the die cuts now um, just I'm not really sure what direction I want to take this layout at this point I'm just kind of sifting through the bits I have like I said haven't played with this collection for a while so I'm not quite familiar what's in it um, I like the idea of bringing in some of that wood grain I did toy with that moon for a while because there's some stars but um, in the end decide not to um, so here I am thinking it's too light I need to get more color in the layout so I brought in that white with the kind of rainbow stripes on it and then I wanted to bring in some more of that wood grain so I'm just kind of layering them up and I'm going to have um, a few strips of that pattern paper to the left hand side and I quite like that um, it's adding a bit of a bit of an oomph of color in the background if you will um, so I'm just distressing the edge of that wood grain paper I'm going to trim down my stripe pattern paper just tearing a little bit more do a thin strip of that wood grain layer that on top of the rainbow stripe just lining it up and then I'm going to adhere them together using my ATG tape and then I'm going to just distress the edge of the blue paper get it really nice and rough on the edges and then just kind of tear it a little bit and curl over the edges so I'm just lining that up I just want a really thin strip of that wood grain just popping that in place and then I can trim it down to 12 by 12 easy as and now I've got a whole lot more color onto the layout so I'm just going to pop my sun back into position and my photo and I'm going to adhere down my cut file 
And I'm just going to do the main part of the sun first. So that's going to allow me to tuck pieces easily um, around those little flowy bits of the sun. Um, yeah. So now I can kind of go back to my embellishing process. I'm going to bring in those die cuts that I pulled out. Definitely that wood grain, wood grain frame. That circular teal frame, I really like the colour of that and it's kind of extending that cluster out a little bit. I do end up tucking it a little bit further under that frame. Not sure what I'm doing with the cat. My husband brought in my <laughs> uh, parents' cat, which is a Siamese. It was clearly not that cat. Um, and I said, I don't want him. <laughs> He's a little nuts. Um, and then he came in with my cat, one of my cats, um, Nettie, so she came in and said hello. <laughs> okay, so continuing to just kind of look through the sticker sheet, there wasn't really a lot in those die cuts that I wanted to use, so I thought maybe I could bring in some of these um, pieces from the sticker sheet. And I've got a floral and a cactus. Um, they end up coming off, um, but it's a bit big. I wanted some smaller things on this layout. Um, I do toy with the idea of the sun, which I really like the idea of repeating that sun shape, but then I just thought it uh, just kind of took away from the, the cut file, I guess. So that ends up getting taken off. I try this wood grain piece, um, it doesn't make it. You can see I'm kind of really struggling, I don't have a direction. And then I find these little tassels, chipboard tassels, and I really like the idea of getting them on the layout. Um, it's kind of adding to the like a delicate flowy nature of it with this cut file. So I end up tucking it under that torn bit of paper, which I really like that. Um, so they're going to stay there. I've removed that floral sticker um, and replaced it with a chipboard butterfly. I like that a little bit better. It's kind of adding to the movement on the page. Some more stars, chipboard and sticker stars. I do try this layer fla fla layered flower <laughs> up on the top. It's kind of an anchor point for those tassels, but um, I don't quite like it. It gets taken off um, the layout. So here I am. I'm back removing that cactus sticker, popping that die cut frame in place, removing that layered floral. I want to get another butterfly on the page just to kind of repeat that so that layered butterfly gets popped on. Apologize for the barking. Um, and something else up in that top left, I popped a little teal coloured moon, which I really like that. So that's kind of um, bringing those embellishments out onto those pattern paper layers on the side. And just to kind of finish off that cluster to the left hand of the photo, I have popped in one of those little layered floral um, stickers, and I quite like that. It's a really nice little cluster we've got going on. Some little rub on stars I'm kind of scattering around. I have cut off a rainbow, which I like the idea of that. Um, I do try this little floral word hay, but it doesn't end up making it. It's, I guess, kind of really boxy, um, which I didn't quite like. But then I did find the word smile, which flowed a little bit better. It's a bit more of a scripty font, so I do pop that one on. I just kind of fit it beside the butterfly with the star underneath it, and it sits nicely there. <clears throat> And um, I also found a rubber one that said Chase the Sun, and I thought, well, that solves my problem for a title. Um, it's just perfect. It's a nice, small little um, a title, and I can tuck it in place just up there. So it's nicely there. So I'm going to rub that down, pop it in place. It's another pop of yellow because that sun is super yellow. <laughs> so I'm just rubbing that on with my little popsicle stick. I rub on the word smile. <clears throat> and I'm quite happy with the rest of that cluster, so I'm going to start to glue everything down in a minute. I, I did find these other rub ons, it's like a strip of little, like, um, sketchy coloured dots so I'm going to go ahead and put them all around the layer I'm just instead of doing a strip I'm just rubbing on one at a time which I really like that look it's adding like a lot of confetti style um, interest to the background adding to that movement that I want um, and I really like that so I've gone ahead and done that I am going to glue down my cluster now so I'm just popping glue underneath the photo the top portion Underneath all of my stars and my chipboard stickers. 
my little moon. I'm just going to work my way around the layout now, gluing everything down. And I'm going to start to glue downward here down all those tendrils. So, like I said, I've used foam tape um, squares on these, so they're super easy to stick down. And just on the where the stars are, I've used a little bit of um, single sided adhesive foam, so I just pop a little glue on them. So that's all done. Um, I've moved my little butterfly up a little bit, I liked it up there just a bit better. Um, gave a little bit more balance with those two butterflies. I'm going to rub on those rub on stars that I've got floating around the page to scatter them. A bit more different texture around the layout. My little rainbow I'm just going to fit in place there. So I do need to trim it down a little bit so I can get it in snug on that part of the sun. I'm going to rub that down. And I'm going to go through the puppy stickers now. So I'm going to add some little feathers kind of floating out from that giant kind of scatter of clusters we've got. Another little butterfly, so we've got three of them. Um, a couple of little puffy stars just scattered around. And I wanted to add a little bit more interest and kind of make parts of that sun stand out a little bit. So um, I grabbed my Gina K glitter gel and instead of using it on the stencil I decided to kind of use my paintbrush and paint it on a little bit and it worked really well. Um, I love this idea, definitely something I'll be doing. So I'm just starting at the end of those little tendrils and um, just doing kind of a heavier layer at the beginning and then just kind of trailing it off um, just on the tips of them. And I really love it. It's nice, pretty, sparkly little detail. Um, and it means that the whole cut file isn't consumed with that glitter. Um, but it's just a nice little touch. So I do that on the ends of all of them and then I end up doing it on the tips of the sun rays and putting just a little bit on the eyelashes as well <laughs> just for just because <laughs> um, But I'm pretty sure I don't make you watch it um, All it's pretty simple just to kind of paste it all onto the layout But yeah, it's really nice something different to do with it and it dries super quick Which is a great thing as well. I apologize for the barking um, Yes He's a he's got small dog syndrome. <laughs> he thinks he's a big boy. Okay, lastly, some white Liquitex acrylic ink. I'm going to splatter that all around that kind of confetti chaos I've got going on the page. And um, I do bring in. I was going to do some shaker pockets in the sun, but decided not to. I wanted to go bright. So what I'm actually going to do is bring in some sequins, but just some tiny little gold stars. These are from one of the International Scrapbook Day. Um, sequin mixes from Spig Line Scraps and this is the Flight of Fancy I think this one is, it's a yellow mix and there's some gorgeous little gold stars in there so I'm just picking them out and kind of scattering them around the layout as well, I'll just getting some really tiny little um, gold detail around the layout but I don't make you watch it all, <laughs> pretty simple. I'm just going to finish that up super quickly and then after that, that'll be pretty much it for my layout. So I hope you enjoyed the process. Um, six new cut files went up in the shop this week. Um, do head over and check them out and don't forget to pop over and join us in the Confessions of a Paper Attic Facebook group um, for a ton of inspiration. So until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.